Hi everyone, so happy to be able to share again. This time, I will share a book entitled Writing for Publication by Mary Rang Jalongo and Olivia N. Sarasher. Before I start, I'd like to thank Ibu Henny Herawati for sharing this ebook to us. Ibu Henny is so kind. There are two points at the introduction of this book that I want to tell you. The first is that our own voice matters and metaphors in writing. I will read some lines from this book in relation to academic writing. I'm sure that you are familiar, guys, with the word citation. While students are taught to cite those words appropriately, their assignments seldom reflect much in the way of original thought. Original thought. There are two points that I take from those lines. The first is the word assignment. I'm sure that nowadays there is this coronavirus outbreak. The word assignment can be a nightmare for you. And I know that most of you feel that as a huge burden. But when we connect the word assignment with original thought, you can be the word assignment. Your original thought, when you do your assignment, whether reading, writing, listening, speaking, um, can be a powerful weapon for you to show your own voice. For example, in speaking class, when you have to describe a picture, you may choose by yourself. And for example, you may choose the picture with your family or friends when you were together with them. You will put your soul into your word and you have beaten the word assignment because you have and you put your soul for doing that. <clears throat> Another example is when you have to do dramatic reading for a play performance, right? When you take it as an assignment, um, then it will create an image of a battle as well that you will not jump into it, don't you? will you? No, right? You will not jump into it. On the contrary, when you take this as a way to show your talent, to entertain others in this difficult situation, to dig your own creativity, the feeling when you do it will be so different. So, your own voice or the way you choose the perspective matters. Let's move on to the second point that is metaphors in writing. Bunovita Devi told us that writing is just like the period of pregnancy. We will try our best to create good surrounding to look after ourselves well and wait for the time when we will have our baby that is the result of our writing. Mine, writing is like giving our heart. I'm sure that you have your own opinion to tell others and luckily you can set it based on your perspective. So writing is like a speech contest where you will do your best to persuade others to create a better situation. I admire one of our friends. She is an ESP student past 2016. For her undergraduate thesis, she designed a media for improving MAPI students' reading and listening skills. So MAPI students, uh, they are from an island uh, from Papua. When I read her work, I could know that she has given her heart for writing her undergraduate thesis. When you are also taking some courses and the lecturers ask you to write a paper, then you can take it as a challenge. You may prove that you have your original thought or idea that you want to convey or you can choose it or take it as a burden for you. It's up to you. There are always two sides of everything in this world. Life is like a coin. That's a metaphor too. So what about you? Do you have your own metaphor when you write? 
please share in the comment box below because sharing means caring okay this book also provides some reasons why we should write from some reasons that are stated in the book i personally like one answer that we write because it creates positive energy i will read some lines from the book academic life can be exhilarating exhilarating is you know, exhilarating means so excited it has also many disappointments i'm sure you know that success with writing is an academic achievement that bolsters confidence and increases motivation it also opens up new possibilities when you want to apply for your master degree perhaps outside this country some universities will ask your undergraduate thesis it will be an additional point for you if you publish an article in a journal in case you want to uh, continue study abroad you can work together with your lecturer to create a piece of writing together and publish it in a journal i'm sure that your lecturer will be happy to know your will often during the time you finish your writing or when you have a paper in a course there will be some feedbacks and you have to revise your work remember again that writing means sharing your voice of your heart and the effort that uh, sorry and the effort of creating positive energy so the positive side is that the lectures spend their time for a better fashion of your writing so do it with your heart in a nutshell from this book i learned not only to write and get published but also to have my own original idea that i want to share to others in a positive way i do hope that you can take the positive side of your own coin and do more than the word survive thank you